Lavederis will give out the award in this category. Ms. Lavederis, please step on the uh, stage. Can you all hear me? Yes, you can. So I'm honored to be here on behalf of everyone at Burlington Books. It's an honor to be amongst colleagues and to be given the opportunity to pay tribute to those who have contributed to the field of VLT in unique ways. The teachers here tonight are more than instructors, they are guides. They have generously held out their hands and invited their learners to go on a journey with them. A journey seeking knowledge of the world. They have all given students a sense of the world around them, not just the love of language learning. They have committed themselves to looking outside the classroom and to preparing citizens of the world. Citizens that will create a better tomorrow for themselves and those around them. The teachers here have striven to do more than just teach. They have been a driving force in creating a brighter tomorrow. The recipients of Teaching for Raising Awareness for Social Issues are helping to create global citizens who are aware of social issues and current events. These learners have a strong sense of how global issues like the preservation of the environment, healthy eating, family and friendship, immigration and bullying affect not only their community but the world as well. The learners who were privileged to work with these teachers were made aware of how their actions and their mentality can affect not only those nearest to them, but also of how their choices affect the world they live in. Through the teaching they have received, they have become more aware and have a different perspective of the world. Their view of the world is now holistic. It is not narrow-minded. Everyone at Burlington Books is proud to be able to contribute to these individuals who are making the world a better place through the support we provide for teachers. To quote Nelson Mandela, education is the most powerful weapon which you can use to change the world. As a citizen of the world, I am happy to be surrounded by individuals who are fighting the odds and winning. They dare to teach outside the confines of the classroom, and in doing so, are creating a better tomorrow for everyone. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Lavadez. Teaching for raising awareness for social issues. The finalists are Margarita Bofiliu, foreign language school owner from Paros, for her project, Empowering Students to Make a Difference. <laughs> Evangelia Sarigoli, second primary school of Yanitsa, for her project, Yes, We Do Care, an environmental European project. Anita Papamarku, foreign language school owner from Kozani, for her project, Brainy Education, My Brainy Grammar Comic Book, Grammar Activities Raising Awareness for Social Issues. <laughs> Stiliani Athanasiadi, foreign language uh, school owner from Athens, for her project, Teaching for Raising Awareness for Social Issues Prepares Global Citizens. Piridula Kokali, foreign language school owner from Corfu for her project Healthy Little Eaters. <laughs> Christina Vasilaki from Zografu for her project Seedland Bilingualand. <laughs> English drama micro school Maria Polihru from Calamaria for her project Engaging with the Other through Educational Drama. Kitea Education Centers in Apactos for the project All We Need is Space. <laughs> the awards go to Silver Award to Margarita Bofiliu. <laughs>
award to Evangelia Sarigoli. Ms. Sarigoli is not with us, but she deserves a warm applause. <laughs> Silver award to Anita Papamaku. <laughs> Silver Award to Stella Thanasiadi. Gold Award to Spiridula Kokali. <laughs> Engaging children in the natural environment triggers a cascade of advantages as their senses come alive. They become aware of the disparities between the natural and artificial, genuine and counterfeit, wholesome and detrimental. By offering ample chances for children to interact with nature, they can cultivate various skills, strengthen their bond with the natural world, and nurture a sense of duty. These encounters equip them for a future that prioritizes sustainability and harmony. Prize and what an honor, not only to be among all of you, great teachers, great colleagues, but among great friends. And yes, um, I agree with you with what you said about Nelson Mandela, because I happen to be a politician myself. Um, I am a deputy mayor back in Corfu, responsible for circular economy and the environment. And as I have said earlier, in previous events, I have been talking to so many politicians and I can guarantee you one thing. It's not them who have the power to change the world. It's us teachers who have this power. So, whatever happens in the future, I don't know if I'm elected again, but I've always been a teacher, and I will always be the teacher, and I'm so, so proud to be among the teaching, the ELT teaching family. Thank you so much. Thank you to all the members of the judging committee. Thank you so much. Gold Award to Christina Vasilaki. Students recycle used paper and plant seeds to create biodegradable products, thus taking an active role in preserving the environment. One more, thank you. Uh, I'm really happy that I'm um, part of this great, great team. We are all excellent. We do an excellent work. And uh, these two called awards give us the courage to keep up. Nice teaching, help our students. And this is for our students. Thank you. I don't have 
to look at the name. Gold Award to Maria Polichru. The students used puppets from diverse cultures to explore different cultural contexts and develop empathy and understanding. Advanced students used a custom-made puppet of an Afghan woman created from materials taken from refugee boats. This was a powerful symbol of all challenges faced by refugees and the importance of human rights. Using this puppet as a tool, C2 students explored and expressed their thoughts on immigration, displacement, violence, women's rights, and war. They also wrote poems about these topics and presented their work in a school mini-conference on human rights. Thank you very much. I'm so grateful for this moment. I wouldn't have done anything without my partner there in life. Costadinos, thank you very much for everything. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Thanks. Gold Award. To Hara Papadokostaki. <laughs> Last year, the Kitea Education Centers designed and implemented a project promoting the values of peace. The project raised students' awareness of issues related to peace, helped them to reflect on the meaning of peace, and acquire skills for nonviolent conflict resolution. Furthermore, Students developed a rich vocabulary and expressed their creativity. The students' work was, was presented to the wider community at an event called All We Need Is Peace in June uh, 2022. <laughs> Thank you very much for this award. It's an honor and a privilege to be in such good company with uh, very creative colleagues doing um, extraordinary work with their students. Um, thank you, Ms. Spiropoulou. Thank you, uh, judging committee. Um, and this award obviously goes to the student, uh, the students who inspire us to uh, be the best we can be and to the ones we can um, look uh, forward to for uh, a brighter future. Thank you very much. You may step down. <laughs>